Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a binary decoder. It's something you can hook up to, say, a seven segment display with its own decoder. I say these are, um, I've got zero to seven here. So I think that's um, going up to seven is pretty decent. That is the number. If you can make seven, like knowingly, like, uh, without thinking about it too much, then you know, you know you've done it well. And, uh, let's say you can link this up to your seven segment to coder make instead of you want to make number one you go find number one instead of making number seven you turn it off and you run over and make number seven you can just have um, three switches let's say it's binary so this will be one this will be two and this I'll left this blank so I'll show you to make it this will be four but this is how we're going to do it you're going to want some lines like this you can make these decoders differently, you can make them smaller. The smaller you make them, the more repeaters you end up using though. And uh, it sort of slows it down, but... It's ba oh. This is how it starts really, you want an on and off um, segment for it. All your switches you want an on and an off stage. Alright, I'm just going to build them up. Over the um, lines here. Let's quickly do this. Okay, once you've done that, start um, covering it in the old redstone. <coughs> and when it don't reach, you want to put um, a repeater. Not uh, not over these lines here. Don't put it there. Put it so it's definitely in the middle there. This won't be the same. It'll be a different length for the next one should stop a little shorter turned on quickly flick the switch find out where it stops and yeah just one before it so I'm um, gonna take out this one do it there and you'll know where they are in the future ones from doing that and um, just carry on till they're done Okay, once you've sorted all that out, got your redstone over everything, make sure you flip this back to the most original state, so they're all up like this. And you remember this is one, two, and four. That's how binary goes. It starts with one and two, and then it just doubles every time. Two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, like that. Okay. All right now I'm gonna show you how to program this whole thing. Let's set it up. So these three inputs can alter these um, 0 to 7 outputs and uh, it could be a bit tricky when you first try and think about how you're going to do this how you know when you turn 1 on you want um, everything to stay off apart from 1 you know stuff like that obviously these are all on now because we haven't set it up but, uh, we're going to have 0 as our default number uh, 0 is going to be our default number it's going to be on when nothing's on so now remember we've got one, two and four. Start a binary. And we have our online and an offline. Obviously you switch when you flick one over. So um we have to think of something else for we're gonna have to when this line turns on, any torches on it are gonna turn off. So obviously when this line when this thing turns on, this line's going to come off. So any torches on it will turn on. So when I flick number one on, and I have a torch on here, when one comes on, zero is going to turn off. So I don't want zero lighting up when I hit one. Right, and if I have this now, see it's not turned on, so I don't, I don't want one on. So this keeps it off. Now once I flick this, bam, it flicks over. And that's pretty much the gist of everything we're going to be doing now. So an, an easier way to think of just setting up number one is that, oh, pardon me, is the numbers one is actually part of. For example, one is obviously in one. So we're going to need this line to light up number one. We're going to need this torch to come off and uh, this to light up when we flick number one. But we're going to need it on for other other things. For example, one is also in three. You need two and one to make three. 
So we'll put that there as well. So when we flick one, three will come on. Obviously, we only want that to happen when one and two is on. But um, I'll get round to that. But um, let's say one. To um, really simplify it, one is in is needed for every odd number. Because there are no other odd numbers in binary. It's just one, and then it's two, and then everything doubles, and you're left with even numbers. So we have three, five, and seven. That's our odd numbers. But obviously, we don't want any... One is not part of any even numbers. So when you flick one on, any number you want on is not going to be an even number. So zero, it's not an odd number. It's not really an even number. It's just neutral. Obviously, that's our default, so we want that off. We also want two off. So I want four and six. Now that is the easiest way to think about it. It's these even numbers will all turn off when we flick one on. And all the odd ones will turn on. But say we just want... Obviously, we just want one on. If we just flick one, we just want one to light up. We want all these others to be off. And that's why we've got to set up number two. Now, number two, obviously, we do the same for one. But we don't want zero on to put that there. We'll do it for four on as well quickly. Here we go, four, bam. That's our default line. Any one of these turns on, zero turns off. That's how we want it. Okay. Right now, now we've got to think, what is two not part of? It's not part of one. So we want that off. When we flick two on, we want one to turn off. Two is part of two. So we, we want we want that on, obviously. Two, it's not part of uh, three, is it? Sorry, not three. Talk about four now. Oh, number line four. Is that four, sorry? Yeah, it's four. Losing my mind there. So obviously, it's, we want it on for two. We need it for three. And it's four. We don't need two to make number four. We've got that sorted. We don't need it for number five either. So we've got a one and a four for that. So there's that sorted. Now we need it for six. Obviously four and two make six. And we need it for seven. It's one, two and four make seven. Simple as that. All right now for the, for the other line two. Obviously number zero, one, two. So bam. When this turns off. When it flicks over, that will come on. We need it for three. We don't need it for four. Don't need it for five. Do need it for six. And we need it for seven. And that's that's the way of thinking when it comes to setting these things up. Now, obviously, four is the one left over because we haven't got to it yet. And um, four, we've already set up our default line. Obviously, we don't want we don't want line number one on. When we've got four on either. You don't need it for line two or three do need it for four do need it for five uh, we do need it for six and for seven so we can ignore that right now the online well what will be the online don't need it for zero one two uh, three we do need it for four so there we go need it for five need it for six need it for seven you notice they're all off apart from zero now because that's our default number we flick a switch from any one of these that'll turn off and the right one should come on now with that easy thinking uh, well actually a quick quick reminder you can tell if you stuffed up so for example if I had the um, torch on this line and this line here that's wrong because that's, that's not going to accomplish anything you notice Especially with four is an easy way of doing it. All these lines here have torches on this line. But um, behind them on the next one, none of them. Um, here, obviously, the rest need it. That's an easy way, I think. But same with number one, look. None of them match up. If you know what I mean? It's, a, it's an easy pattern to follow. In what numbers need what. So, think of it like that and just do it like that. And uh, you can spot any mistakes straight away. But now let's test it out. Number one, bam. And number one. Let's turn it off. Test number two. Number two. Let's test number four. And number four. Right, let's test. Test we got five, right? Four. So five. You know Number one's not on, number four is not on, just five. Turn number two on, 
Got one, two, and four, so seven. Bam, seven's on, nice and easy. And that's, that's pretty much how it is, that's how it works. You can build these a bit tighter and closer together using other methods. It gets pretty ugly, and uh, well not ugly, but the smaller it gets, the slower it gets, because you end up using a lot of repeaters to um, block things touching, if you know what I mean, keeping things one way. Um, oh yeah, there's three, obviously one and two's on. Tell why these torches. And, um, yeah, and that's how that works. And we'll whack them both off. And zero again. And that's a simple binary decoder. Now, um, if you hook these up to a seven segment display with its own decoder, um, obviously you just whack all these on the end. You can flick three switches and be able to display um, from zero to um, seven. So that's pretty much eight numbers with three switches. It's quite easy. And, um, you know, these are obviously useful for other things other than displays. But anyway, I hope that helped you. And uh, give it a like if you liked it. And so in my next video, I'll probably do something with displays, maybe a seven segment decoder, if um, people aren't sure about that. But, yeah.